Hello everyone, back for another doll video, and then today is going to be a review of one of the new Disney princess dolls by Mattel. Um, me and my sister had gone out shopping, and I discovered my Walmart had them, so I got one. And um, I wanted Belle. I don't know. Like, lately, I've been really into Belle dolls. And when I saw the new... Um, I almost said Hasbro, but when I saw the, the new Mattel ones, I kind of caved and I got Belle and I really liked her. Um, and I heard she has good hair, so let's take a look at her and her packaging. So this is the new packaging for the dolls. So it looks like a gem at the top it says it's got the 100th anniversary let me adjust this so yeah it does have the 100th anniversary up there it just says disney 100 a very faithful um artwork of Bellera. It looks actually looks like the doll. Like the lip color looks the same and everything. So that's really nice. Yeah, I wish she came with earrings. Yeah, because you can see that she has earrings, but I suppose you could uh, steal earrings off of another doll and pierce this one's ears and give the earrings to her. And there's the back. I really love this picture of Belle and the Beast. So yeah, and there's a picture of all them. Yeah, very pretty picture of her and Beast is looking very handsome. It's actually one of the more handsome pieces of artwork of him. They gave him a very soft expression and everything. So yeah, and he's all fancy. But yeah, they've got all of those at the bottom. See, they can't seem to get Cinderella right. I do have a Cinderella. I mentioned this in my last one. I know this is about Belle, but I figured I mentioned this. So you see how Cinderella looks? So you see how her hair is? Her hair always kind of looked like a heart shape to me. But here lately, they've been doing Cinderella with these side swoop bangs, which is not film accurate. The face, which the new Mattel one looks a lot like this. A little bit better, but in my opinion, the best Cinderella dolls. And this is a old school one. I'm all off topic already, but you know. So the the best Cinderella dolls had this face mold. So you can see Cinderella usually has a really tiny mouth. Her mouth is bigger right there because her she has an open mouth sort of smile. Like a very happy expression. But this she's just showing teeth. And usually when she shows teeth her mouth is very small. So yeah this is a very faithful face mold. To the character. So this is a 90's. Um, um, Cinderella. So yeah. But nowadays they make her look like this. And the face just looks like a Barbie or something. It doesn't really look like her, and I don't understand these side swoop bangs. Cinderella is supposed to, like, the way they did the Cinderella ones is they had the 90s, like, it was curled. So it's just bangs that they curled, like that. And that's actually more faithful to the artwork, so. I don't know what's up with Cinderella nowadays, but. Hasbro Cinderella. But this is not about Hasbro, this is about this one. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that about Cinderella's. You see her looking like that, and then you see the doll, and it's not accurate. But yeah, so we're going to open her up. Now that we've looked at the box. Okay. And like, just like with a Barbie fashionista, like that or any kind of Barbie that comes in 
this box, this type of box, you go from the bottom. There's usually this little opening. You put your thumb in there. You put your other one there. And then you kind of just lift off. This one is a little bit difficult. I was hoping I'd be able to, okay. I was hoping I'd be able to harvest the, um, the back so you'd be able to see what it looks like, but it kind of wrecked it, so. I need my scissors. I actually have Barbie hair cutting scissors. These came with the 2002 cut and style Barbie. So yeah, she came with actual hair cutting scissors. So, and you don't want to cut the hair. So I'm actually not going to be paying attention to the camera right now. I'm actually going to be paying attention to the doll herself. And that one and that one is all you have to cut. She does have some tabs in the back of her head. You can see them there. Now, I don't like reach back there with the... I've seen people do that. They'll reach back there with their scissors and cut. You can risk cutting the doll's hair. I'm already already noticing that her hair is very soft, so I think it is saran hair, which is good. So, yeah, I just pull her out from the card, and I do not cut these rubber bands. I save them. You don't have to cut them. All you have to do is just slide the doll's hair out of them like that so you don't have to cut those and I will harvest these elastics because I can use them to style doll hair so now what I'm gonna do is flip her around oh see that one broke and I'm gonna try to break the other one okay and that was all there was to it So yeah, the hair in the back is a bit messy, but that's what brushes are for. So I'm just going to brush her hair. But yeah, you can see that's what it looks like at first. It's going to be a bit messy. But I have this brush that came with a um, styling head from the Dollar Tree. So actually... So if you go to the Dollar Tree, these are the kinds of styling heads that they have. So they have an African American, a another ethnic, like lighter, she's slightly lighter skin, more tanned, and has brown hair, and then they have a blonde one. So, so yeah, these are the styling heads at Dollar Tree that you can get these combs with. These combs are amazing. I don't know what plastic they are made of, but they work so well in doll hair which you wouldn't expect since it's just a standard doll hair brush but. but yeah there's the hairstyle very nice she's got something in her hair something some white paint looking stuff but as you can see they've actually taken a piece of hair right here and they took those but yeah they took this piece to secure that so it doesn't really move around so yeah they took these from the front front and twisted it and then they made a little bun at the top she is really nice and she does have full neck articulation so she's not like one of those where she just turns side to side i wonder okay so that the Hasbro ones did do the same thing. I could have swore there was some Hasbro ones where they only turned like that. But I could just be imagining that. So there's her face. She does have the um, 
apparently they say it's like resin paint or something where the, it's a 3d or it's a laser that prints the face on yeah she does have that effect where it looks kind of staticky um it doesn't exactly look a lot of people say it looks like pixels but it doesn't look like pixels it looks staticky like a tv screen static but it's fine but this this sort of screening method does make the paint more durable like it i've seen people try to take the paint off and they have to they're struggling you're they're usually using 100 percent acetone and they still struggle with getting this type of paint off so at least you're not going to get it to where it's like back in the 2010s or um, like 2009. Like late 2000s, early 2010s where you would just wash the doll's face and the eyes would come right off. So yeah, that was more commonly on Indonesia dolls, which this doll is Indonesia. So she's Indonesia. She has a silver stamp. So if you like type in Disney Bell or something like that, you could, I think it's the top one that you type into Google. So you ignore the bottom one. And I think that's the one you type in. So you type in Bell, Bell doll, and then you type in that. So it is HLW11. Yeah, it says 2022 Mattel, Indonesia. So a lot of the late 2000s, 2010s Disney dolls made in Indonesia, not only would they have glue leakage, um, these new dolls have no glue in their heads. They have melted the plugs on the inside so that they won't pop out. But yeah, the um, late 2000s, early 2010s era Mattel dolls, you'll get on Monster High, Disney Princess, Barbies especially. But the ones made in Indonesia from that era, their face paint would just wipe right off. Like, So yeah, and with this sort of method, you're not going to get that. Um, I can like scrub and scrub and scrub her face, and the paint's not going anywhere. So they have fixed that issue where the face paint was rubbing right off. No glue in the head. So the arms can only go up and down. Let me tilt this up a little bit more. <clears throat> so, yeah. I guess we could look at her face, though. Like, look at her screening. So, she does have... She actually has four lashes on top. So, yeah, she has four lashes on top. And then the wing... The eyelash wing is actually under the fourth lash. So you see that one, and then you see the one under it, which is shorter. That's interesting. She has brown eyeliner. Um, she has a blue shadowing in her eye. So you see the white, and then you see the blue. And then she has hazel eyes with a little crescent moon highlight at the bottom. And then she has the two dots. She has these beautifully shaped rosy lips. I love the way they have painted her lips. Like, the screening for those is really nice. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, the arms can only move up and down. I do not have a Hasbro Bell doll to show you, but I have a few others that I'm going to show. Some older Mattel ones. Her hands are actually, like, her arms are, like, rubbery. Almost, like, not quite rubbery, like, super flexible, but... They can bend a little bit, but they only go up and down. And she does have the iconic, like, off-the-shoulder moment happening. And it's all, like, gathered. And then there's these beads right here that are painted. Her legs are very, very stiff. Like, her joints are not loose or anything. So, yeah. So she's got the three beads, and then she has this... I kind of like this. Um, for budget dolls, I don't mind the molded-on stuff, as long as it has some sort of fancy element to it, 
like this is see-through with glitter in it which is kind of fun it's not just a molded piece of plastic that they spray painted over no this is actually kind of got some three three dimensional um, qualities about it and there is molded details on there I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see but there's like some fancy plants there's a rose there's some like swirly things off to the sides the back has detail the back is kind of like the front so the details you see back here with the roses and swirl plants and stuff that's kind of like what's going on in the front too so yeah it's very sparkly and then the skirt is really nice it's very like tinselly like the tinsel sparkle to make the um to make the fabric and then it's kind of got a gold sheen to it when you look at it a certain direction like it's kind of reflective in certain ways it's really like you can see it like right in here reflecting it's almost like satin almost like it's shiny like satin and then it's got the tinsel as well which is very interesting it's got some ruffle gathering so right here you have this and then you have the fabric very smooth material and of course you have the pictures on there so you have mrs potts with some roses um there's the there's the beast's rose in there there's chip so mrs potts and chip right there so yeah there's a lot going on on here and last oh wait i didn't even show her crown so she does have a tiara swirls and a rose up top let me try to focus this in so yeah you can see a rose up top um swirly plants swirly plant designs it looks like there's a gem in there in the middle and some little more and some tiny gems off to the sides it has got the these tabs to keep it on so yeah very nice face mold i guess the only thing i don't like about the facial screening is i don't like how big these white dots are i kind of wish they were a little bit smaller like make this one t uh, the one at the bottom a little smaller and then make this one like make this one like maybe the size of that one so maybe shrink those down so it doesn't look so i don't know it kind of looks anime like and that's kind of the wrong style for these in my opinion the hands are wonderfully sculpted i didn't even show those off but yeah those are very nicely sculpted and lastly we have the shoes her little pumps which have roses on the front and they're transparent and they have like the ruffly design like curtains or something like what you see up here that's what that makes me think of is like curtains so yeah there's are her shoes there's nothing on the bottoms of them like with barbies you'll see like a bee on the bottom but there's nothing on these so yeah that's pretty much it for um the doll herself and now i will do some comparisons so so here's one of my older bell dolls some of these need to be cleaned up because they've been in storage so so yeah here is an older one from the 2000s this is the original sculpt face mold for bell so yeah she is also indonesia she's made in indonesia yeah you can see how vastly different the faces are the newer dolls have more of a yellow like ariel and this one and some other ones have more of a yellow complexion whilst the original dolls have more of a like a lot of the original ones have a more porcelain like complexion so 
And then, of course, the original ones had knees that bent. These ones just basically used a Barbie body. Whenever I was a kid and my friends were kids, we called them Disney Barbies. Because that is basically what they are. They use the same body molds as the Barbie dolls from back then. Um, the only problem with this one is... Um, <laughs> She is pretty sparsely rooted. Um, yeah. So you see that. I mean, I guess her hair was in a, an updo. So you weren't exactly supposed to take the hair out, I guess. But it's a doll that was made for children to play with. So they can't expect them not to take the hair down. Let me check her rooting. Um, so yeah, hers is much more filled in than that other one. So yeah, but they both do have saran hair. The color is different. This one's more reddish auburn. It's not showing up on camera, but it's, this one is very red. And this one's more of a, um, it's like it is the same color because there's two colors they blended together to get these colors but it's like they added more of the reddish more red strand reddish strands and hers and with her they added more brownish strands so it might just be the same exact saran hair color so then we have this one which is like the 2010s era of bell so this is what Belle looked like back then in the, like the 2010s. She does have glue in her head, so her scalp feels a little sticky. And her neck is really short because her neck is broken. I have to repair her. She was a thrift store doll, but let's do a comparison with that. So yeah, you can see the heads on these dolls started getting bigger over time. Does this one have the widow's peak? She does. So her hair is rooted in that sort of heart style, just like the original ones. So yeah, there's that one. And again, this one has the same body as that one. Her skin tone is different though. Her skin, this one's skin tone is more pink. Whilst well, this one is way more pale, but she does. This one still has the bend and snap knee function. Again, it is the exact same body as a Barbie doll from that time. And this is one. This was one that was made before Mattel lost the rights in 2014. I'm currently rerouting her hair because I found her at the thrift store with a haircut. So... So this was the head mold for Belle in 2014, and this is now. So yeah, she can move her arms now, up and down. Before there was no section, so she could only move her arms so much. And if y'all want to look this one up, this one actually does have a silver stamp. It's kind of hard to make out. Um, it says CL, CLG, or maybe it's CLC81. It's either CLC or CLG81. So, if you look up that silver stamp on the back of her, you'll be able to see which one she was. So, yeah, that's what Belle's face looked like. Again, pink, more pink on this one. Like her her face, her skin tone is more peachy, while this one is more yellow toned. So I wonder why they decided to go with yellow tones for the newer ones. Um, I know that this doll and, and Ariel, the new Ariel dolls, have the more yellow skin. So I wonder why they went that route. Not sure. But yeah. So 2014 and current. So yeah, that is that review. 
over her. You could boil wash her hair. I'm probably going to boil wash her hair. Let me do a little twist. See how thick her hair is. So yeah, she's got a decent thickness. It's thicker around than her neck. And definitely thicker around than her arm. So she has a decent amount of hair. Could use a boil wash to uh, bring those curls back. Or you could always just curl her hair. But that is that. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching my little review. More videos to come. And remember to stay true to you.